Oh, you did. I didn't have nothing to say to him. Nah, you had something to get off your chest. Yeah, you want to line it up? What you, what you trying to do? No, you know you got, you got bad feet. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> see, it's always an excuse. <laughs> no, we can't. Yeah. Oh, you know you got the phone in the hand. Well, because in the interference, so what you want to do now? <laughs> see, he ready. You just slipped. You just hey. tripped. Did you get the trip? What? You got it. You got it. You know? You... No, no, I got it. It's a whole lot but of work. But you know what? The Bible says. No work. No one comes through the Father except through the Son. Shalom, go holler at you. Oh! Hey, that was hard. That was nice. Hey, that was nice. That was smooth. Okay. Caleb, how do you feel to be officially graduated? He a bomb. He a bomb, bro. You think you're cool with it? You just paid. How do you feel about what? About your brother graduating? <laughs> he gone. <laughs> he gone. Um, how do you feel? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Did you cry? No, I don't know. <laughs> Dad, how do you feel? Great. <laughs> Wonderful. Alright, so with me, this is Carter Stoudemire. He a new buff. He just got here in the summer. He just finished his first couple weeks of the summer workouts. And we're going to get his channel up and running soon. What's going on, y'all? It's Carter Stoudemire from Dallas, Texas. I play corner. It's been a smooth first couple weeks up here. You know, these workouts, they've been a little rough. But, you know, we're still getting after, getting better every day. I feel real confident by myself coming in this year. I feel good, you know. I feel like we got a real solid team this year. Yeah. One thing, one thing y'all don't know about us, we actually God brothers. We grew up together. Mm -hmm. We've known each other for a long time. Yep. Since we came out. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna show I'm gonna add in a picture, like a young picture of us so y'all can see. Our yeah. parents were in each other's birth room and everything, so yeah, we go. Our dads actually played together on the Cowboys like yeah. way back in the day. That's how we that's how our family really like quit <laughs> back then and stuff. But yeah, um we finna go up to the mountains. And yeah, we are gonna see what that's what that's like up there. What? Yeah, so we up here, we in the mountains, and now I'm gonna answer some subscriber questions. Okay, the first question I'm gonna answer is that somebody asked me what my favorite book was. My favorite book right now is How to Be a Winner by Bryce Wilson. I like this book because it helps my mindset when it is lost. I struggle with confidence, leadership, and discipline, and many other things this book covers. And this book has guided me through each mental skill. A thing I learned about discipline is finding a why. Something you could think about to make you push through. And a why has to be a reason you go hard and something that you can't let down. Are the stadiums a Coach Prime staple since Trinity? They actually are. Um, we was doing stadiums at Trinity, but they, they wasn't as close to as big as the stadiums at, at the Colorado field. So it's a big difference to me. What is your major? Um, I'm actually majoring in pre-business. Who is your roommate? My roommate is actually my family members. I stay at the house with my family. NFL receivers, past or present, you are inspired by? Okay, I got one for past and present. Um, for present, I'm inspired by Cooper Cup. I feel like he's one of the smarter receivers in the game. And from the past, I like Steve Smith. I just like the way he approached the game. Yeah. What is your favorite off-campus food spot? I like Pasta J's. Pasta J's is probably my favorite spot because they got pizza, like lasagna, all the Italian food, spaghetti. And it's just really good. So that'd probably be my favorite spot. Why won't Shiloh behave? I don't know, bro. To be honest, Shiloh, he, you know, he, he's a character. He's a different breed. That's all you want to do is talk, but he, he struggles at backing it up, so I don't know why you won't behave. What do you do in your free time, and what do you think about all your new teammates? In my free time, I just like to chill at home, you know, like play the game and hang out with my family, just that type of thing. That's what I do in my free time. And about the new teammates, I like the energy from my new teammates. I feel like they all, they all want to win. We all got the same goal, and I just like their energy towards football. If you had an opportunity to travel to other countries, which ones would it be and why? <laughs> um, I would choose Dubai, Greece, and Italy. 
because I feel like it'd be interesting to see how people live in different countries and how they do certain things in life. How do you set up your day so you have enough energy to train and also study? Okay. We, we get time to train and we get time to study in the day. So in the morning, that's our training time, workout time, football, anything like that. Then after that, we go straight into academics. And after academics and study time, we just get to recover for the rest of the day and do the same thing over again. Where do you see yourself or roll in three years at Colorado? Um, in three years at Colorado, I see myself as a starter, like a leader on the team. I see myself as a captain, somebody the team can depend on, and just a role model. How did you meet Coach Prime and what type of relationship did your family have with him and his family growing up? Uh, Coach Prime knew me since, since I came out of the womb, so it's just pretty much been all my life. And our families, they've been close because, you know, our dads played together and they've been coaching together for a long time and they've just been close ever since. And now we're here. What is your favorite book in the Bible and what are you stoked about in life? Uh, my favorite book in the Bible is uh, Proverbs. My dad used to have me read Proverbs all the time when I was younger. And Proverbs talks about God's wisdom and how he applies it every day in life on earth. Since you've been here, how much weight have you gained? Um, uh, I came in when I first weighed in, I was 149. Right now, I'm currently at 162 and I plan to play in the season at 175. What other sports have you played and what is your favorite football position to play receiver or cornerback? Um, I've played basketball, baseball, and soccer. Um, my favorite position is obviously receiver. And are you a preferred walk-on or did you receive scholarship? Uh, I'm a preferred walk-on, but hopefully I'll change some. Do you and your dad discuss the team and football at home or are you guys in the family mode once you get in the house? Uh, it's a little bit of both. Uh, we discuss what's going on with the team, what happened at practice, that that type of thing first, and then family time, rest time, watching TV, watching games, eating, that type of stuff. Huh? Hold on. Yeah. You know, we're in the facility. Yeah. You get some. Our key don't work in there, bro. Nope. Nah. You gotta get some arcade first. They don't work right there either. They don't? Nah. No. There's no graphic pieces out there for me. Logging things. I don't know what they're doing in here, but I think it was a leak in here the other day. So yeah. they, but this, they had to cover up all the important stuff. Dang. All this for a leak, bro? Oh. This where we be after practice, you know, getting our bodies right. Yeah, they, they, made, they, made, they made it mandatory. They made the cold tub mandatory. We don't be trying to get in there, bro. It's in our best interest. <laughs> it is. It's, it, it's interest. to help us, but we don't want to do yeah. it. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, he right across from me. You know, we be we be going at it after practice. Yeah, you are talking. Know, uh, we don't mess with the receivers, dog. Yeah. You gonna show off your locker? Do you want me to hold it, dog? They they already seen my locker, bro. You know, you know how it go. What's in this playbook, though? Hey, watch out! Hey, watch man. out! Hey, watch hey, out! Hey, 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 hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of our secret sauce, buddy. <laughs> who is the reigning shadow box champion and who are your top five contenders? See, I'm glad you say who are your top five contenders. You already know I'm the reigning shadow boxing champion. No, you're not. Stop it. Okay. So, the top five contenders I got Kosa. Okay. That's Adam. Uh, who else? JB got I got I got JB for sure. Asad, I got Asad. Asad is a good tender for Isaiah. sure. Isaiah? Who? Isaiah? No. Who? Isaiah? No, sir. No, Z no Zay is smooth too. Zay is smooth. I ain't played him. He is oh. smooth. No, Zay is smooth, dog. Asad, who else I got? I got JD. Jordan Dominic. Who the pick? You give me Dylan. Right. Dylan, Dylan's smooth. Dylan who? Dylan. Ooh! Hey man, hey man. Let me get my get back. Come on, come on. You want to get back? Come on. That was some corn, bro. Finish it. Finish it. Oh! I 
I ain't even tripping. I ain't even tripping. Cause I'll really pull, pull up the video how I just did it to us earlier. Okay, speed. I mean, it's one to one. Alright, like, tiebreaker. This is the last one. I'm retired. <laughs> You know, he's not going to have him. I just got him that way, so, like, you know. This thing. No way, he's Comments, tell me try out fakers. So you know who we're talking about. You already been here, though. Right. Fakers is fire. Your on. I think fakers is good. You know, you got some good rooms here. I get the little honey barbecue, whatever you call it. Yeah, it's moving. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it's talking about. All right, so I got the spicy ranch dry rub, and I got a mild buffalo with some lemon pepper on it. It's just fries and some ranch. What'd you get? You know, I just got a little barbecue. That's it. Let's see what it's talking about. So how was your food, man? You know, I give Peckers a solid 9 out of 10. You know, the wings. The okay. wings are solid for show. Sure. I thought there was no good food plays in Boulder. What happened? Hey, I did say Peckers when, when you recorded me yesterday. I said Peckers was, I said Peckers was heat. Okay. Yeah, and they got some good fries. I okay. mess with Peckers for sure. Jay, how was your food? I ain't even got to eat it yet because they messed up my order, but Peckish's is like a solid 9 out of 10, though. Okay. What do you think about your first time at Peckish? You know what, bro? It was pretty good, you know? It ain't no, it ain't no wing to stop or nothing, but... Yeah, yeah. You know, it was straight. What's your name? Where you from, bro? Take page. You receive on the freshman. Okay. <laughs> from Nashville. Okay. okay. What's up, Kevin? I, I was the uh, conditioning yesterday. I was with Coach. Stadium? Oh, you talking about yesterday? Yesterday. Cause that looked that looked uh, real bad. Not for you, just everything. I mean, we were struggling a little bit, not locked in, not focused, not touching the line. So we had to go back and restart. We just made it ten times worse. Can you speak on him? Him? Jaden. Jaden. He did all right. He fall started. He fall started. He fall started he yesterday? He made us go back. He made us go back one time. Usually everything be perfect, but, bro, it was like one of those days. Oh, we straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got right. Like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't run full speed every single rep, though. Like, Ooh. I was going hard. Ooh. You didn't beat me. Bro. Receivers. You didn't beat me. I did beat you. When? I swear I did. We'll pull up the footage. 4K. We have 4K. Bucky got the footage. 